welcome to this week's video. Today I'm here with Parker What's again. What's up guys? In this video, we are going to be doing some things that we need to get done to prepare for our first baby. She's coming yes. in less than two months and we still have a ton of things that we need to get done before she comes. I am so excited because today's video is sponsored by Bye Bye Baby. That is where we are right now. They are an exclusive baby retailer that is all baby all the time. So they have literally everything that you need and they're also known for their expert guidance and being first time parents, it's so hard to know really like, what you need and what yeah. the best products are. So I'm really excited to go into the store and actually be able to ask their expert people questions. So we're here and we're gonna go inside. Okay guys, so we are here in the store. I'm so excited. They literally have everything. They have all the bigger things that you need. Like they have strollers, they have car seats, they have cribs. They also have all the smaller things that you need like bottles, diapers, like this type of stuff. little- A teething toothbrush yeah. thing. Yeah, That's literally, shaped like a banana. literally everything. So this would be a perfect place to register for your baby shower. And they also have things for every budget. So everybody can shop here, which is super awesome. So the first thing we are actually looking for today yes. is, oh gosh. <laughs> little like baby golf suit, what? Mm -hmm. Anyways, the first thing we are shopping for today is a bouncer. So I was on their website, kind of just checking out what they have. And I saw a bouncer that I really like that has a lot of really good reviews, but I wanted to actually come and like see it in the store and be able to ask one of their experts about it. I was telling Parker, should we get the toilet and just have skip the diapers? Yeah, just yeah. diapers and have her immediately. Be just make our, life, <laughs> make our life easier and potty train her from the, the day she's born. Aww. Parker just found this ball pit. We definitely should get this. <laughs> I want that for me. Okay guys, we're here with Katie, one of the Bye Bye Baby experts. So this is the bouncer that I was looking at online. It had a lot of good reviews, so people like this one, mm -hmm. even though it's not like motorized. Yeah, it is a really popular one. It's based off baby's kick, so it kind of oh, moves cool. like with your baby, so if they're asleep. It yeah, so they kind of are like moving themselves. What age babies would like typically use this? Like a newborn can go? So it in starts there? at eight pounds. Okay. So as soon as your baby reaches eight pounds, you can start using it, and then it caps out at 29 pounds. So yeah. I think we're actually gonna get this, but the one I saw on their website side is pink and so I think we're gonna order it online so that will be really cute so the next thing that I've really been looking into a lot is the outlet monitor basically it's just like a sock that you put on your baby that kind of like tracks their heart rate and their oxygen and stuff Katie's answering more of our questions <laughs> people love this thing yes. right um it's definitely a nice peace of mind for new moms it yeah kind of keeps you feeling yeah like I feel like I definitely right. <laughs> want that I think we're definitely gonna be considering getting this next we need a baby like a bath Parker's impressed a lot of choices oh yeah this is the one that I was looking at I see a lot of people use this one so this one's like is this the most popular one um it's one of our more popular ones just because it's a support um instead of having like a whole bathtub that you have yeah. to try to fit in your tub yeah it's really um, nice and you can put this in your sink too Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. So you don't buy the whole tub thing. You just yeah. put that in your bathroom. Yeah, I feel like this is maybe like more practical. I know babies like these. Which animal should we get? Oh, we better get her. Should we get her like a little I bear? Look at the oh, giraffe wait, though. The Aww. giraffe is cool. Cute. Okay, this is another thing that I wanted to get. I see a lot of people using these like swaddle suit thing because some babies don't like oh, to be swaddled yeah. really, really tight. So this kind of helps them to be able to like have a little bit of movement. All right, also putting this in the cart. We don't really have a ton of newborn clothes. I know they grow out of those really, really quick, but basic white onesies can't go wrong. All right, guys, so we're back in the car. We got a ton of goodies, a ton of things that we need. This is literally like our dream sponsorship right now. Seriously. Like everything in there, I was like, oh my gosh, we need this, 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 and this. We will definitely be coming back here when we're a little closer to my due date and kind of going through like our final checklist of things that we need. But for now, we're going to head back home. All right, so we're back home now and we are up in the nursery. Yeah, it's almost finished. Oh, I but I just kind of laid out everything we got so we can see a little overview. Now we are going to go through her closet, kind of get everything down and literally just lay out everything that we have so we can figure out what we need, how we want to organize everything. Okay guys, so this looks like a disaster, but I actually feel like I've made a lot of progress. 
so I'll kind of show you guys the piles that I have. So these are some swaddles. I don't really know how many I need. I have a couple little like smaller ones. It would be good for like burp rags and stuff like that. Then this is the bath pile. Something I do need is towels, like baby towels. And then over here we have some like bottle stuff. I do want to breastfeed, but I also want to pump. So that's why I have like bottles and stuff. Then I have like changing mats here. We have some toys. Then these are little baby loungers. I saw they have the Dock Tot at Bye Bye Baby. These are the diapers that we have. Still need a bunch of wipes and stuff. And then for her clothes, this pile over here is what I haven't really touched yet, but I just wanted to divide up the like zero to three month clothes and kind of see what I had. So these ones right here are the only actual like newborn size things that we have because everyone says they grow out a newborn so fast. So I have all of these little tank tops for her. These are her leggings. This pile is like full outfits. That's like just a one piece thing. These are long sleeve onesies. These are all of the pajamas that I have for her. We have this little thing we got at Bye Bye Baby, the little swaddle up thing. And then these are matching sets. I have two little jackets for her that have like matching leggings that are a little bit thicker. And then these are her hats. She has a bunch for winter and then some cute little bows. Obviously this video isn't like start to finish of like how to prepare for a baby and everything is done. But I just wanted to like document the things that I'm doing today to try and get ready. So one of those things I've been needing to do is just go through all her clothes, see what I have. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is working on my hospital bag packing list and I still have a few weeks before I'll actually like start packing my hospital bag. I don't know why I'm like very passionate about not overpacking. Like I only really wanna have what I need. I'm looking some things up online. I'm gonna write out my list and then I'll share it with you guys and then you guys can tell me any other suggestions that you guys have. later. I'm honestly feeling more stressed than I was when I started. I don't know what to bring. Okay, so I'm gonna read you guys my list. I divided it up into things I'm gonna bring, things that Parker would bring, even though a lot of the ones for me would be for Parker too, like lotion and face wash and stuff like that. Also a section for the baby. So for me, ponytail for sure, chapstick, phone charger, wallet, paperwork. Something else I did is write down a little to-do list of things I need to get done. We want to tour the hospital. Also guys, this lighting. I also want to pre-register so have like all of that paperwork and everything done. And then I also want to ask the hospital what they provide because I know a lot of people say they give you like all the diapers you need for your baby. So like don't bring any or they provide you with like pads and stuff for you and like mesh underwear and all of that glamour stuff. We need to have a little toiletry bag. Really trying to only bring the essentials. I also saw people pretty much on every list that I read. People say to bring your own towel because the hospital ones suck but honestly that just seems like too extra to me. Like I can definitely take a shower with a crappy towel. I probably only will be at the hospital long enough to like shower like need to shower once hopefully. Something else people say to bring though is shower shoes. Comment below if this is an essential for you. That's not like too extra. I can understand that if there's too many germs, but it's like a little bit extra. Also something else on every single list, a pair of fuzzy socks for if you are like walking around. I don't really know if I would use those or if I would just put my shoes on, I don't know, but those don't take up that much space. So I will bring a pair of fuzzy socks. I also have nursing bra on here. I also wrote down underwear. So again, I don't know if the hospital provides like the big granny panties that you're gonna need after you have a baby. A loose outfit for me to wear when I'm going home and also loose PJs. I also just wrote down postpartum kit products. I don't know exactly what I need. So if you guys have any suggestions for that. I also wrote birth plan. I don't really have a very specific birth plan, but I'm gonna try and find just like a really, really simplistic template. Basically just the basics. I know there's things like, do you want music playing or like the lights on or off? Like things like that. Those I know can be controlled, but I'm not super into birth plans because you just never know what's gonna happen. Then for Parker's side, I wrote phone charger, toothbrush and toothpaste, hairbrush. I also think he should probably bring a pillow and a blanket. That's another thing people actually said to like for me to bring is my own pillow, which I'm sure that I would be happy if I had that. But again, it's I kind of just like want to pack light. So that's why I'm putting this part in the video because I want to know what you guys suggest. But anyways, Parker really doesn't need much. I also wrote an outfit on here for him for like the next day. And then just making sure we have like the camera for the baby. Gotta have her car seat. I also wrote down two to three outfits. I don't know how many to bring. Also, we'll have a blanket for her and then some little like socks and mittens. That's kind of all I can find for like what to bring for your baby. I think the hospitals will provide diapers and wipes. So far, this is my list. 
list. If you guys have suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't want to overpack, but I don't want to underpack. So let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so that is going to be all for this video. I'm actually feeling really good about everything we got done today, especially after oh, yeah. going through all her stuff. We still have some things we need, but I just feel... All right, you gotta go. Why is she licking my face? I don't know. This definitely could be turned into a series, though, because we still have a lot of things we need to do to oh, prepare. Yeah. But we do do more frequent updates over on our vlog channel. If you guys want to check that out, the link's down below. Thank you again to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have their website linked down below. Definitely check them out if you guys are pregnant or if you need any baby items. They have a, such a huge assortment of things. We definitely will be heading back there before we actually oh, have yeah. the baby. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of just seeing the process of some things that we did today to yeah. prepare for our baby. That is all for the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, Bye. guys.